you might have seen my video a couple months back where I explained that my M1 MacBook Air was dead. Didn't know what caused it, but I had zero power and I couldn't get it to work. And after a couple calls with Apple where they could not figure out what happened at all, they ended up sending me another MacBook Air. Took a few weeks, but I got one. And everything has been working fine ever since. But I was always curious, why did it die? And then that video really got started picking up. I got in featured in a couple blogs and a lot of people saw it. And a lot of people have comments on it. And I got a lot of tweets and a lot of uh, DMs on Twitter about other people suffering the same issues. I read about other cases super similar to mine on Twitter, on Reddit, and I started talking to people that had these same issues because I was curious, is it something that we could have done wrong or was it just the chip failed? And I, I didn't know. And after a couple months of research and talking to people, I found a common thread and a lot of others have also come to the same conclusion that I have, and that it's USB-C hubs. USB-C hubs are common. Pretty much anyone with an M1 laptop is going to have a USB-C hub. So why was mine the issue? Well, the USB-C hub I was using, well, it was a little weird because I had an ethernet port on it and it only ended up using one Thunderbolt port on the laptop. I also found others that had similar hubs as mine that only required one plug, but had a lot of ports on it. Like some had like a massive amount of ports and also some had ethernet ports on it. And most don't usually have that. When I got my new M1, the hub was on my top list of suspects for why it could have died. And I ended up using a different hub that I had that didn't have an ethernet port on it. I've had zero issues since then. And I think what the problem is, is I've begun, I've begun to research and we talk to people. The power delivery through these USB-C hubs might be the issue. These kind of third party knockoff ones, these ones with a lot of ports on them, they might require more power that the M1 was not ready to give just yet. I don't, I just don't think that the M1 chip was ready to give the power that some of these more power hungry hubs need. And when you use a hub that only really has like six, seven ports on it, it doesn't really need that much, it can handle it fine. And right now, like for my ethernet needs, I actually use a USB-C dock that takes up two ports. It has its own power supply that's separate from the unit that powers the entire thing and power delivers to the laptop. And that has given me zero issues. Just like everybody else that's using a USB-C dock does not have any issues. Now, does this make me a detective and then I've nailed the case? No. Do I know for a fact that my laptop died because of an ethernet supported USB-C hub? Yes. Do I know for a fact that others have used similar USB-C hubs with Ethernet on it and it also killed their laptops? Yes. Do I know for a fact that people's M1s have died when they plug in a off-brand or cheaply made USB-C hub? Yes. Do I know why those hubs are killing the laptop? Not really. We have speculation, we have ideas, but we don't know for a fact exactly why they are killing these laptops. All I know is that they do. In the end though, Apple was amazing when it came to my replacement. They helped me out a lot. They offered me a replacement after two calls with them where they tried a lot of things to get it to work and they could not make it work. Other people I talked to had similar calls to Apple that went about as productive as mine. And I'm thankful for that because I didn't have any issues. It took a little bit, but again, this was right when the M1s came out. They were back ordered for a long time. So it makes sense it took a while for me to get one back. But all I'm saying is that if you have an M1, if you're thinking about buying an M1 and you're looking at hubs, you're looking at docks, be careful. Choose carefully. In the description below, I'm going to link the USB-C hub that I use now that works perfectly fine. I'm going to link others that I know for a fact do work. And I'm also going to link USB-C docks that I know for a fact work fine with M1 Max. I know people that use them. Again, I don't, I don't know why this issue is really working, but you know, we know that it's an issue. A lot of people have been talking about this for a while and we've all come to the same conclusion. So just be careful when buying these things. You're going to be fine. The M1 laptops are amazing. The M1 Mac Mini is amazing. If you're looking at a computer, seriously, buy them. They are re beyond ridiculous how good they are. And I love them and I recommend them all the time. Links in the description for stuff that I know for a fact will work. They're not affiliate. Don't think I'm trying to profit off of you. They're just straight Amazon links. So go there. Do your own research too. And uh, let me know how it's going. If you've had issues similar, let me know in the comments because I want to talk to you about it. I'm, I'm still curious how this is working and, and what's going on. So yeah, let me know how it's worked out for you uh, and what M1 you have and what hubs you're using. Leave links to what you got too so people can share. You know, it'd be good. So till next time guys, bye-bye.